Okay, now we will discuss the concept of break-even quantity of sales. So in the last two classes, we talked about the degree of operating leverage. We saw two very important characters. One is the variable cost, and other is the fixed cost. So here, let's see what's the meaning of the break-even quantity of sales. First of all, in both of the concepts, we have the so-called fixed cost. So the fixed cost is independent of the quantity we produce, so it is a horizontal strict line. And then there is a variable cost. Variable cost is associated with the products we produce. Usually variable cost is constant for every product. So the total variable cost is going to be a straight line running upwards, like this. So it increases when the quantity increases. So this is the total variable cost. By adding the fixed cost to the total variable cost, we will get another strict line, which is the total cost. And so this is the total cost. And how about for the income? The more quantity we sell, the higher will be the income. Assume that the price for each unit we sell is the same then we know that it's going to be a upward sloping line, just like the total variable cost. The more you sell, the more you get. The important point here is that this total income has to be more than the total variable cost. Otherwise, if it is below, we are not going to sell this product because the price is less than the cost, then there's no point of producing this product. So from here, you can see that if there is no fixed cost, by just selling one unit of the product, I will already have profit. And the profit is the difference between this green line and the total variable cost. So the more you sell, the higher the profit. However, due to this fixed cost, now the total cost shift upward. As a result, the revenue will intersect with the total cost. And the intersecting point is the so-called break-even point. So if we sell the quantity which is less than the break-even point, then we will record a loss. So this area is the loss. The less we sell, the more is the loss. However, if we can sell quantity more than the break-even point, then we will record a gain or net profit. The break-even point is the point at which the net profit equals to zero. So this concept is not very complicated. In order to have break-even, the quantity you sell times the price minus the quantity you sell times the variable cost minus the fixed cost has to be zero. So this QP is just equal to this green line. And this QVC is just equal to this TVC9. And this fixed cost is the red line. This QVC and the fixed cost is the total cost, which is this brown line. By subtracting the brown line from the green line, then we will get the net profit. When the net profit is zero, then this is the break-even point. So in the exam, it will be the best to understand this concept instead of memorizing the equation. Of course, from here, we can derive the equation that Q equal to fixed cost divided by price minus variable cost. So please remember that we see here is the variable cost for every individual product. It is not the total variable cost.